Welcome all to this packet tracer lab. We'll, today we'll just make a simple uh, network uh, using two LANs. So to do that, first we'll get a couple of switches for each LAN. So it will be one for this LAN and another for this LAN. And we'll get two devices, let's say PCs two pieces each for each LAN. Here also two pieces. Then we'll just connect these pieces to the switch. You can use this to auto connect. Or you can use the cable manually. Ethernet 0 to FA01 here. And Again, you have to click Ethernet 0, FA0 slash 2. Okay, so if you click on this one, it will just do it for us. And then if you want to do it manually, then use the uh, cable and then connect it manually. And we'll just rename this. This will be the one network here on this side. This will be the two network. So 192.168.1.1 will be the this PC. This PC's address will be 192.168.1.2. Okay. And this will 192.168.2.1. And this will be 192.168.2.2. All right. And then we'll just uh, name this area as actually hold on the color is that color blue okay let's say this one is uh, New York land okay New York land and this one let's say it's the California land, okay? California land, and it is 192.168.2. Network here, and this one is 192.168.1.0. Network, okay? And we'll just move this a little bit up. Put this one here up put this one here okay so now we'll just add two routers uh, in order to talk between one network and two network and vice versa we'll need routers right so we'll get a couple of routers here we'll get this router here and this router here now, in the packet tracer, uh, in order to add the serial interfaces, we will need to go to click on the router and go to that uh, physical tab, and then we can turn turn the power off and drag the interface in, and then it will have the inter serial interface. Because right now, if you look. Uh, on the inter interfaces so show IP interface brief it you will not see serial interfaces you will have the gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 here and 0 slash 0 slash 1 and also 2 but no serial interface right so we need to add that physical turn the power off this one drag it to this slot turn the power back on now if I go back it is going to reload show IP interface brief now you can see 0 serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 is there also serial 0 slash 1 slash 1 is there so that's how you would add that so you have to do the same thing here so physical turn the power off Drag, power on, 
now we will need to connect uh, these two van right so we'll need uh, this uh, cable here but also like I said just moments back you can just connect it like this so one side will be 0 slash 1 slash 0 the other side is 0 slash 1 slash 0 then we'll connect the switch and the router so this this interface here is G gigabit 0 slash 0 slash 0 then this one so this interface here router interface is gigabit 0 slash 0 slash 0 and the switch interface here is FA 0 slash 3 fast Ethernet 0 slash 3 and this will give a 10 network basically 10.0.0.0 so 10.0.0.0 and this interface will give us 10.1 and this side 10.2 10 10.2 10 okay now we'll just configure these PCs after we configure the PCs we'll configure these two routers so let's go here go to IP configuration 192.168.1.1 default subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and the default gateways 192.168.1.100 and that will be given here okay when you configure the router this address will be given for this gigabit 0 slash 0 slash 0 192.168.1.2 Done. Go to this one. 192.168.2.1 This one will give us 2.100 which will be given in this interface gigabit 0 slash 0 slash 0 right here. And then this one will be 192.168.2.2 192.168.2.100 done now we'll go to the router configure terminal okay we'll do this 0 slash 1 slash 0 first interface s 0 1 0 no shut it will not come up because we need to go here and do the same thing and then it will come up The IP address we said 10.1, right? Right. So IP address 10.0.0.1. So a class address. So it will be 255.0.0.0. And we'll do this gigabit 0 slash 0 slash 0. Basically our default gateway. So interface. Actually exit interface G 0, 0, No shut. IP address 192.168.1.100 oh, I didn't give the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 right so this side is done now we'll go to this router CLI nope enable configure T we'll give this 10.2 first so it, it will be this 0, 010 0. interface serial 0 one zero no shut when I press enter the interfaces are going to come up and then IP address 10.0.0.2255000 done now we'll configure this G gigabit 0 slash 0 slash 0 and basically it's going to be our default gateway address so exit interface G000 no shut IP address 192.168.2.100.255.255.255.0 Done. Now just 
uh, save the configuration on both routers. Do WR is like short for write memory. You can do that once you are in this configuration mode. If you exit, you, all you have to do is just WR and it will do that. Okay, so we are done with the configuration. We have the IP addresses set. Uh, we have the IP addresses set here 2.1 and we have the 1.2 here and 1.1 here. Okay. Now, will it ping, right? That's a question. If I try to ping from 1.1 to 2.1, will it ping? We have all the addresses. We have the default gateway configured. And my question is, is it going to ping or not? We'll see. Okay. So we'll ping 2.1. 192.168.2.1 you can straight away see destination host unreachable so this is a whenever you see this uh, this is going to be a routing issue which means a router is missing the route right and therefore we would need to tell the router how to get to to network on this router and and we'll need to tell this router how to get to one network that we will see in the next video so until then stay tuned thank you